The Lockheed Martin SR-72, otherwise called the Son of Blackbird, is the United States hypersonic unmanned aerial vehicle UAV concept that is supposed to have the capacity to perform high-speed intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, as well as strike activities. The airplane is being created under Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works or Advanced Development Programs. Around 85% of the work done there is grouped by the public authority. In this video, we'll know more about the Mach 6 SR-72, America's next great spy plane. So let's get started. The SR-71 Blackbird was designed by the USAF in 1998, leaving what was viewed as an inclusion gap between observation satellites, monitored airplanes, and automated ethereal vehicles for insight, observation, and surveillance and strike missions. With the development of anti-satellite weapons against access region refusal strategies, it was believed that a fast airplane could enter safeguarded airspace and notice or strike an objective before adversaries could identify or capture it. The proposed dependence on very high velocity to infiltrate guarded airspace is viewed as a huge theoretical takeoff from the accentuation of secrecy in fifth-generation jet fighter programs and projected drone improvements. Unsubstantiated reports about the SR-72 date back to 2007, when different sources revealed that Lockheed Martin was developing a plane ready to fly multiple times the speed of sound, or Mach 6, 4,000 miles per hour or 6,400 kilometers per hour for the United States Air Force. Lockheed Martin Skunk Works advancement work on the SR-72 was first published by Aviation Week and Space Technology on November 1, 2013. Public thoughtfulness regarding the news was adequately huge to overpower the Aviation Week servers. How will the SR-72 achieve Mach 6? To accomplish its planned speeds, Lockheed Martin has been working together with Aerojet Rocketdyne since 2006 on an appropriate engine. The company is constructing the framework from the scramjet-fueled HTV-3X, which was dropped in 2008. The SR-72 is imagined with an air-breathing hypersonic drive framework that can speed up from stop to Mach 6 utilizing a similar engine, making it about two times as quick as the SR-71. The test is to plan an engine to incorporate the flight systems of subsonic, supersonic, and hypersonic speeds. Utilizing turbine pressure, turbojet engines can work at zero speed and, as a rule, perform best up to Mach 2.2. Ramjets utilizing streamlined pressure with subsonic ignition perform ineffectively under Mach 0.5 and are generally proficient around Mach 3, having the option to go up to around Mach 6, profoundly and into max engine thrust for speeds more prominent than Mach 2.5. At last, scramjets with supersonic ignition cover the scope of high supersonic to hypersonic speeds. The SR-72 is to utilize a turbine-based joint cycle TBCC framework to utilize a turbine motor at low rates and a scramjet motor at high speeds. The turbine and ramjet motors share a typical bay and spout, yet with independent wind streamways. At rates of Mach 5 or more, streamlined warming makes temperatures adequately hot to soften regular metallic airframes, so designs are thinking about composites like superior execution carbon, artistic, and metal blends for the manufacture of basic parts. Such composites have been utilized in intercontinental long-range rockets and the retired space shuttle. The SR-72 is to be comparative in size to the SR-71, at the north of 100 feet 30 meters long, and have a similar reach with a section into administration by 2030. The SR-72 follows the U.S. Air Force's hypersonic guide for fostering a hypersonic strike weapon by 2020 and an entering ISR airplane by 2030. At the hour of the ideas revealing, Lockheed Martin had been occupied with chats with government authorities, however had not gotten subsidizing for the demonstrator or motor. On November 13, 2015, Air Force Chief of Staff General Mark Welsh uncovered that the help was keen on the SR-72's hypersonic abilities, yet had not spoken with Lockheed Martin about the airplane. Its high velocity requests assistance to decrease the time a foe would need to respond to an activity. They're seeking hypersonic innovation, however, don't yet have the material capacity to build a standard plane like the automated SR-72. The SR-72 was divulged amidst sequestration spending plan cuts that have required the Air Force to adjustability limit and mission status. By the mid-2020s, it is accepted that unfamiliar nations will deliver and send out cutting-edge aeronautical innovations that could wind up in battle spaces against the U.S. This drives the Air Force to additionally foster new frameworks, including hypersonic, to supplant outmatched inheritance frameworks. So is the new Blackbird a yes or no? 1. Scramjet, the engine of tomorrow Its driving force is one move forward from the earlier Blackbirds. The engines expected to arrive at speeds of Mach 2.2 are called turbojets. 
The engines that will be utilized to arrive at the maximum speed of the SR-72 are called scramjets, despite the fact that they can theoretically arrive at paces of over Mach 15. Due to the fact that a scramjet doesn't work at rates lower than Mach 1, the airplane will include a turbojet too. To get the plane up to speed to where the scramjet can dominate, the scramjet is still conceptual and there has not been any genuine airplane utilizing one. Therefore, Lockheed is teaming up with Aerojet Rocketdyne and Boeing to make the new motor, together right now driving the advancement of a scramjet. How the driving force of the SR-72 will work anyway is presently not known to people in general, and it is a very intricate piece of hardware including both a scramjet and a turbojet. The task may anyway make some unpleasant memories ahead as Lockheed Martin had, when of the idea disclosing, not yet gotten the fundings expected to assemble this sort of scramjet the intricacy and subsequently the price tag being two potential reasons. Number 2. Competitors going hypersonic soon The scramjet motors will be tried in Boeing's X-51 Venture, which is an automated single-motor airplane. It is projected to be, sooner rather than later, flying at Mach 6. The airplane is really the record holder of the world's longest scramjet trip at hypersonic speeds title after it held a speed of over Mach 5 for 210 seconds in May 2013. It has gotten a nickname, the Wave Rider, in view of it utilizing its own shockwaves to add additional lift. The airplane didn't have a turbojet introduced, so to get to the supersonic rates expected to utilize the scramjet, it was conveyed 15 kilometers very high by a B-52 plane, then delivered and fell until coming to legitimate scramjet speeds. The SR-72 will most likely not be the main airplane to utilize the motor when it is done, as rockets are proposed to utilize it when during the 2020s. Number 3. Cheaper Solution to the Problem If Lockheed Martin manages to make a hypersonic engine and propel an aircraft to a speed of Mach 6, it will easily have a cutting edge over its competitors to receive more funding. Northrop Grumman RQ-180, which is also a surveillance UAV, is being funded by the United States' secret military budget. Northrop has skipped the whole speed part and instead concentrated on a stealthy drone to do the ISR. This project has gotten more positive feedback because it's less risky technology. It will be a remarkable achievement and provide a less expensive solution if at all Lockheed Martin is successful. Lockheed Martin's readiness to put impressive totals in innovative work R&D, of the SR-72 recommends a conviction that in the following 10 to 15 years there will be extensive U.S. government financing for fast ISR. On the other hand, Lockheed Martin can have a hard time figuring out whether to go on with the task and chance possibly gigantic aggregates on R&D with practically no assurance of return, or to hold the idea and relinquish a large portion of what they have spent and accomplished in the past seven years. Regardless, we feel that this is certainly a project to watch, and if all goes as planned, it can surely be a threat to a lot of countries, including Russia. That's all for today's video. Thank you.